Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike here. Just doing a quick little video. Um, this time, um, not about migraine aura. This time it's going to be about palpitations. Um, I don't know if any of you, um, whether you get, if you get migraine aura, you might be watching this video. Um, if you get palpitations also at times, drop a, drop a comment down at the bottom here and uh, let me know. And I'm thinking there is some, a little bit of connection with the mechanism. I'm not sure, but just a theory. Um, but this time, um, I want to talk about palpitations. Um, I usually get them here and there. Like there could be like, I could go like months without having or feeling any at all. Right. And then there's times where I'll feel a couple a day, you know, like I'll feel, Oh, that was interesting. All right. And then I'll forget about it. Right. Because it doesn't keep happening. Um, but then there's times where it will just kind of happen a little more than what it, you know, than, than normal, right? And it starts to bother me. It starts to stress me out. It starts to make me feel like, is there something wrong with me? Um, and today was one of those days, to be honest with you. And so I was just sitting there minding my own business, right? Um, I like to make beats and music and stuff at my computer. And I was sitting there minding my own business. I had a banging beat going in the headphones. Everything was cool, right? And then I noticed, oh, whoa, what was that? And then I'm like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm going to ignore it. And then boom, boom. Oh, whoa, again, right? Oh, I'm like, here we go. I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking, God, hopefully these things go away. I don't want to get the long runs of them, right? Which happens to me, right? Every once in a while, um, I'll go on like a spree, like a palpitation spree, right? Where it's just kind of like, it'll go for hours. Um, not straight, not straight. It'll like, like right now I'm totally normal. I can tell I'm one of those guys that can feel my heartbeat. Right. And my doctor told me, by the way, that he looked at me strange. Like you can feel your heartbeat. I'm like, yeah, can't you, you know, like I'm assuming that everybody can. And he was looking at me like, no, I can't, I don't feel my heartbeat. I go, well, if I'm calm and I'm steady, I can actually feel my heartbeat. I've always been like that, like all my life. And I'm coming to find that some people can and that's odd to me, right? So um, drop a comment too. If you can feel your heartbeat like at rest, just kind of chilling, do you feel it or not at all? Okay, so that's, that's, that's one of the things I'm curious about. Um, anyway, I kind of got off track here. But anyway, so I'm sitting at my computer and my heart's you know normal. And then all of a sudden, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, then it goes faster, right? If my normal rhythm is like this, let's say if it's like boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Then this is what'll happen. Boom, 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 right? So, and I think that might be the anxiety triggering. I feel the palpitation like in my throat or in my chest, and then all of a sudden it'll take off faster. Another thing that I've noticed, I've always noticed this about the palpitations that I get is I think they're, well, I'm almost, I'm like 99% sure they're positional in nature. Um, meaning that if I bend over, like if I'm sitting in a chair and I actually bend forward, then all of a sudden it'll trigger. Um, I've had them trigger when I'm standing too, um, or if I move in a certain direction. Um, like right now I'm just in a spot. I'm laying on my bed. I'm in a spot where I don't feel them, you know, at all. Like, or I don't, I don't, I'm not having them is what I meant to say. So I don't know. Um, my theory is if you do some research, um, about the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S nerve, you'll find that there's a connection, um, where the vagus nerve, um, has uh, a connection into where your stomach is. So if you're bloated or if you, um, like to me, I feel like I was kind of bloated today, you know, and, uh, whenever I would bend forward is when they would trigger for the most part or if I'm sitting down. And so I had to get into a position where they weren't, they weren't triggering. Um, so I'd like to know if anybody here watching this gets those as well. And, um, if you know anything you can do <clears throat> to make them sort of go away, or if there's any triggers, the only triggers that I can come up with today was just lately, I've been drinking, um, a lot of dairy and having a lot of dairy is what I'm really meant to say, because yesterday we went and we had this big old, huge, I had a big old, huge vanilla, 
milkshake yesterday, right? And I had, um, my kids had a, a like a, a, it was like a Sunday or whatever. So I, I had some of that too. I had a lot of dairy and I don't, I don't normally have dairy at all, right? I cut most dairy out of my life. Well, the last couple of days, um, I had a um, hazelnut latte, right? With milk, non-fat milk was in it. Um, and then this morning I had some cereal with milk and then the night before is when I had the vanilla shake. So I'm like, I had a lot of dairy and all of a sudden today I've just been hit big time with palpitations. So, um, and it was a really hot day here in California. Um, I think it was about a hundred, but it was very humid today. It's typically not, not that humid in California, but today was pretty humid. Um, and I, st I was standing outside, I was recycling some cans earlier and the wait, the line was like hella long. And so like, um, I was just standing outside in the sun. So I was probably dehydrated too. So I'm thinking that dehydration, um, has a lot to do with them. So I think it might've just been a perfect storm. Um, didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, so those are the things that I think maybe are triggering my palpitations. Um, I know anxiety does too. Um, can trigger them. But what makes them worse for me is when I get the palpitations, that makes me anxious, right? And then it's sort of like a, a double-edged sword where, um, you know, I'm, I'm having the palpitations and the anxiety is just fueling the fire and it just makes it worse. Um, so anyway, in short, um, you know, I'm just curious, putting this out here, if anybody um, has experienced a similar type of um, situation that, um, that I'm explaining, um, if you could definitely throw this video a like, put a comment down, subscribe, and um, I'll blog, uh, vlog whenever I can, um, whenever these things happen, and if I come up with anything that might help us. So I appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Peace.